I mean, it really has got to grind your gears as a Yankee fan to see the GM of the Astros part ways with the team after only one year and the mainstream sports media is going off about, well, it wasn't really his team, it was Luna's team. When Cashman took over the Yankees in 98, it wasn't his team, it was Gene Michaels' team. Yet Cashman is still here and has not developed a starting pitcher better than Luis Severino since 1998. Lou now built a team. I mean, let's, let's be honest. I'm not trying to take anything from Click. But, you know, uh, the, the group of this team is Lou now's team. I mean, let me start by saying I'm sorry if there's some noise in the background. It is really windy and really rainy and I'm trying to soundproof it as best as I could. Anywho, back to the video. Going back to when Brian Cashman became the Yankees GM in 1998, they had a starting rotation of David Cohn, David Wells, Andy Pettit, Hideki Arabu, and El Duque. Now, this idea that I have here, I didn't want to include pitchers that were signed from Japan like a Tanaka or a Rabu or El Duque, who came over from Cuba. I want to focus on pitchers that Brian Cashman developed. They came up through the system and made an actual contribution as a starter. Not as a reliever, because we all know a reliever is mostly a failed starter. So how many starting pitchers has Brian Cashman had that's made an impact on the team since 1998? Well, <laughs> We're going to really have to lower our expectations of impact to actually fill out a list. Andy Pettit comes from Gene Michael, so he does not count. You would have to then fast forward to Phil Hughes. And then you can consider Jobber Chamberlain, but he failed as a starter and was good in the bullpen until they completely messed with his head. And I know what some of you are going to say. Well, the Yankees, they sign their starters. Well, not exactly the point here. The point is that the Yankees have not developed starting pitching in two decades. Once again, this does not include relievers because they are basically failed starters. Yes, the Yankees have had a lot of solid relievers come up through the system, but as for that starting pitcher that will make an impact, well, the list goes Phil Hughes, then we jump all the way up to maybe Herman Montgomery, who was traded, and then you can pick and choose maybe slight impacts here and there. The Yankees have not had an actual impactful starting pitcher besides Luis Severino in two decades. Here is a list of all the starters and relievers the Yankees have had. We'll go back to 98 when Brian Cashman took helm of the Yankees. Honestly, I have never seen somebody get so many passes in my life than Brian Cashman. He has done jack shit to help this team. He keeps putting out the same style offense, all or nothing, has not put together an actual roster that works. The best team the Yankees have had since 2009 has been the 2017 Yankees, where it was a bunch of young players in the lineup and the right mix of veterans. Since then, it has been the same old, same old. All or nothing offense, no small ball, nothing has changed. Brian Cashman is still here. He is still here, and I am tired of it.